Okay, just so we're clear, I'm literally in my closet now. I've had to actually take out. I'm just gonna show you this beautiful layout. I've, I've taken out my closet. I've gotten rid of all the um, spiders, and I've decided that's where I'm gonna do my reviews now. It's gonna be a pain in the butt when I have to put it all back, but it may be worth it. Now, I can actually like, kind of sit down when I'm doing a review as well. It's like really nice. I just hope you can hear me because I'm like a meter right from the camera or phone, whatever you want to call it. I need to close this door. It's great. All right, so. For the first time since January 2020, I have really got myself some hands, my hands, I have my two hands on some NASCAR Authentics. Um, each are 2021 cars, one from each manufacturer, and they're all from Wave 5. So, yeah, I don't think, I, yeah, no, the last Authentic I remember correctly buying was the 2020 March Church Jr. Auto Owners car. That's interesting because I've been reviewing a lot of gold cards, so I feel like the quality is going to be really bad on these. So it's just a little haul video today, nothing much. I need to get some content out though because I have like no more reviews on my um list. So they're going to be spread out in like a two weeks span maybe. So uh, hopefully I can make another order by then. Mm -hmm. I'm hoping the IndyCar order comes in in like mid-October. Uh, and then we should be all set to like mid-March I think, so... Yeah, anyways, let's uh, begin, I guess, with the first car. And uh, I don't know why. They're very shaky. Don't know why they are this year, but uh, Christopher Bell's number 20 Ream. Toyota Cam for Joe Gibbs Racing. I don't have my tripod. I'm actually just using a um, thingamabob. What do you want to call this thing? It's like a charger like for my AirPods, watch, and phone. That's what I'm using right now because I forgot my tripod at my dad's because I haven't gotten my bag yet. So, um, oopsies. Uh, beautiful car, say at least. My last Christopher Bell. I've only actually, this is my second only I have. Um, I have his 2019, um, uh, Xfinity car. So, yeah, good to get a new number 20. Um, the latest one I have is, I think, in, like, order of time, I think. It's the Stanley car. Eric Jones 2019 Stanley. And then it's his 2018 throwback. Um. Uh, it looks pretty good. There's a little, like, cut. I don't know if you can see that. That little slash right there. That's over the decal. They just missed the decal. Um, I'm seeing a bit of, like, dust right here, you can see. Uh, that looks like a decal chip off of somewhere. Where exactly? I don't really know. Um, they don't look actually that bad. Uh, the back is a bit wonky. Uh, no, this white line is not messed up. Uh, that's just like the box, but the Ream logo, um, is like crooked a bit. So there is that. Um, the hood, this was like the first wave, I think they brought back the hoods. So, yeah, you can kind of see it right here. Um, I'm glad they did that. From what I heard, the stickers were just ass again, so. Yeah. Um, another interesting thing I was looking at, and I put some Instagram as well. They released the, uh, box, but, um, the back, sorry. They covered off the Kislowski, and it, it's not like they markered it. It's like one of the, like, they used to have, like, the red wrap to show, like, coming up diecast. They haven't released a paint scheme. They did that again with the, um, Kozlowski, but, um, they made it blue. And it looks pretty bad, honestly. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna note, I could have also got the Chase Light Lumar, and I probably should have gotten that just for the sake of it, because I don't know how many 2021 ones I'm gonna get. So, uh, mistake by me, but I don't have the, um, I don't have the Chase Light anymore, so, sorry. It looks pretty bad, though, so I wasn't really, like, wanting to buy it, but I probably should have just done it for the sake of it. There's a lot of dust right here. All right, next car. Doing the Chevy camp. Get it over with. Uh, the William Byron Exalted car. Uh, I remember specifically being a hater of this car when it first came out, and I must say now, this looks so good. I don't know why we hated it. I think we only hated it because of, like, the change, but I like this change, actually. Now that I say it, said I, yeah, I hated it before, and I love it. Um, beautiful car. Um, they did mess up the front end, but, uh, I'll show that on the after review itself, but, uh, there's that. Um, it overall looks pretty good. Uh, kind of strange to see the, uh, um, was it Camaro Z01 1TE? I think they only have the Z01 right there, but it's a weird thing. I thought it was like a sponsorship logo at first, but it isn't. Um, so that's a bit weird. Um, 
There's also a couple mistakes at the top. I don't know if that's like a paint chip or something. The Exalta, um, we paint winners or coating systems, I guess, logo. That got a bit maybe wonky perhaps, but the uh, back end even looks really good. So, so far, honestly, from the three cars I got, next one's pretty spotless actually. It's been pretty good. Um, don't know how I feel about the hood. Um, the hoods are usually the side of the car. It's not the front hood, I don't think, anymore. Which is kind of dumb, if I'm being honest. It, it, it's weird. I wish they would have kept it as the front, so, like, had the white or yellow stripes right here, and then just the Exalt logo. Um, I get why they didn't do that, but, uh, I think it would have been nice to have a hood of replica, maybe. But, honestly, it doesn't look that bad on this car. Um, so you have the red, you have the basic red-orange hood, I guess. And then, um, shut off the camera here, it's just easier. Uh, and then you have the, uh, yellow, green, and blue. Um, a bit strange is that the yellow looks a bit off-colored. I am colorblind, so maybe that's just me. Just on the hood itself. Piece, hood piece, sorry. Um, so yeah. Um, I've also noticed another thing just now. The freaking 24 is so big on this thing. Holy crap, I have not had, I, I haven't seen these new authentic boxes, and I gotta say, I really do like them. Um, I saw the all Guyer box, where it's like, white Grant car, and I'm, I'm glad they have the corn. So this is what I mean by shitty. I don't remember them being like that. So, yeah, I think that's me why we get so many paint chips, honestly. Um, I don't even know where the piece is on this thing. Oh, there it is. Um, I also gotta remember, I just know off thing off topic. I gotta keep this piece here that keeps the car like sideways because I take them all out and throw them out. Biggest mistake of my life because all the cars just flop even more now. So should've done that earlier. Final car I have is the cool custom number 41 Haas tooling car. I needed a new 41 since it's the newest one I got. I had to get the Kerbush State water heaters, but I feel like I should have just not I should have just bought a 2020 if anything, because that was a waste of money, honestly, in my opinion. Um, but literally, I, I didn't get a Suarez, I didn't have a Custer last year, because they didn't come out with one until the race win. Uh, I'm still a getting the race win, but, I mean, the Haas tooling car looks so good, honestly, in my opinion. I love this, like, silver-gray. Um, I'm pretty sure it looks a bit different. I think they changed the paint scheme mid-season. So, kind of dumb, dumb there, but, it, it, it is a very, you can't see much here, can you? Um, it is, I'm gonna try and get my head right on, so. It, I like it a lot. It's probably my favorite 41 car I've actually ever gotten. So, yeah. Uh, the only other Custer I have is his 2019 Jacobs Company Xfinity car. Uh, same place, actually. I got I got that Bristol with the uh, Bell. Um, by the way, I've not gone to a racetrack forever, and I want to go back to one. So, yeah. Uh, I will say, though, it looks... The 41 looks really good on a Ford body. Um, yeah, I was going to have to buy this one in gold version. And I, although I will say the gold version is probably a lot better for the cars I've bought. Uh, but I will pick this up. I will take this easy little bit of saving a bit of money. Um, yeah, because I was going to buy the Custer and the Bell, I think. Or no, I was going to buy the Custer, sorry. That was going to wait. Um, I was going to buy the Custer, so that saves me up. I might buy the Briscoe now, or I might just like save money a bit. Save money a little better, huh? Um, but yeah. Uh, so I'm probably trying to buy this Briscoe now. Has 164 high point car because that looks pretty good as well, in my opinion. And a lot of people have had actually some good uh, reviews on that thing, and I've heard it's been pretty good. So, yeah, taking a quick look at this car. Um, from what I've been seeing, not many mistakes on this, so I will give Lionel credit. Still shaky, but I will give him credit where credit is due. At least for me, and three cars that I've bought, the quality control is an ass. So, we take that as a win, boys. Um, hood piece. Again, it's just a replica of the side. Um, just on the bottom side. So, kind of weird actually how they do that. It's like, the main logo gets the front. You get the 41 on the side. Uh, and then you get the name somewhere. And then the spawn, or the side of the car goes under it. It's like that for every single car as you can see. Look, oh. But yeah, it's, it's actually kind of a system. I haven't really, oh, what the heck? A box. Okay. Um. Yeah. So I don't know how I feel about that. Uh, I, I guess it makes it more unique. I guess it's also more. Oh, you can't see the bell. I don't know how I feel about that. But uh, yeah. Here it is. Um, pretty solid lineup, I would say. Um, I don't know when we get Denix again. So, 
yeah, reviews will come out, spread out. I don't think I'll re release one until, like, Thursday, because I need to, like, spread out content big time. Um, although I was supposed to end all my reviews in March, I, fin I think I finished in, like, May, so I guess I did good there, but, uh, yeah, I'd like to spread these out, so I'm not going, like, two weeks without a video, so. Apologies for that, but guys, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe to so never miss another video, and I'll see you guys all again in the next one. Goodbye.